Resource Maven, and I'm here guest hosting Beneath the Surface. We're at the Vancouver Resource Investment Conference, and I've got Jeff Wilson with me, who's the president and CEO of Precipitate Gold. Jeff, it's been a little while since we've caught up. Um, I like the Precipitate story, so you're a gold explorer in the Dominican, um, and your story really starts with um, geophysics and, and land positions. So you want to just set it up where, in terms of how it all began? Sure. Yeah, we're, we're located in, in a relatively new emerging belt of the Dominican Republic. There are other known, quite sizable deposits in country, but the, the western part of the country where, where we're operating is called the Torreo Gold Formation, and this is where a, a number of new deposits have emerged in the last five, ten years. Uh, you're probably looking at about five million new ounces discovered over the course of the last five years or so. So what led to those prior discoveries by other operators was, as you mentioned, geophysics. So it's applying that science. This stuff is not sticking out of the ground. It's not outcropping. Right. So it's being able to identify some surface anomalies, uh, geochem, uh, silt sampling, surface sampling. And then once you've identified your target area, apply geophysics, uh, induce polarization over those known zones, and test for the chargeability and resistivity of what's happening subsurface. Right, and so that's what GoldQuest did, who's the ground literally adjacent to you. Yep. They did this IP survey, they outlined some interesting anomalies, and they've gone on to delineate three million ounces, right? Correct, yeah, no, I, I think they're sort of a poster child for the kind of timelines for success that can be had in that part of the world. Uh, going from discovery in 2012 to a PEA stage within uh, about 18 to 24 months, I think was a, was a very impressive timeline, and they've still, still got a number of additional targets for potential expansion. So it was that science that they used to make their, their big discovery in 2012, catapulted their share price from six cents to two dollars in uh, less than three months. Right. Uh, and it really sort of shone a lot of light on that part of the country. And we were able to pick up the ground adjacent to that. Upon identifying a few targets through uh, surface work, we went back in uh, last fall, or late summer, and ran IP over our Ginger Ridge anomaly uh, at our Wanda Herrera project. Right, okay, so you started with the IP, and the IP outlined a nice anomaly in one part of that ridge. Correct. Right? Yep, so we had about a five, uh, uh, we had five line kilometers, 200 meter spacings, mm -hmm. and what we found is that we did see the kind of chargeability anomaly that we wanted to see. Uh, chargeability uh, is a correlation between uh, sulfides, sulfides carry metals, yep. gold and silver are metals, this is where you want to be. Yep. So we were seeing that chargeability uh, very near surface, which was a, a very attractive target for us. So with a number, uh, six initial holes, uh, relatively shallow holes, we were able to go in and test that anomaly from the south end of it to the north. And what we found is that the northern extent of that uh, geophysical anomaly is where we made our discovery. Right. And it was there that we got uh, 98 meters of massive sulfide, we had multiple gold intervals. But the question at the end of that was, what's happening to the north of that uh, geophysical anomaly? Right, so you had this anomaly, you stepped north with your drill program essentially, or you moved from one area to the other, and the sixth hole was a discovery hole. To be honest, it, the, the six of six holes, you could think that that's a bad thing, but really to hit a discovery hole on the sixth hole of a project is, is fantastic. Yep. But then you were in this interesting position where you were at the edge of your known anomaly, and you just had sort of unknown ground to the north. Yep. So then and the next question is, what does, what does the IP look like north of there? Right, and so on the back of that discovery hole, we went in, we re-engaged the uh, geophysical equipment, we went back in uh, in uh, November and December of 2014, and we extended out that uh, geophysical anomaly, or sorry, uh, survey, uh, to test the anomaly, uh, and it amounted to running at about 800 meters to the north. And what right. we identified was that that geophysical anomaly not only continued to the north, n in a nice linear direction, it was very much uh, you know, on strike from where we had seen it before, right. um, but it was also getting wider, the chargeability readings were getting stronger, and in the middle of that extension it was actually poking itself up right up to surface. So we were seeing a nice, wide, strong, near surface anomaly that now uh, looks like a, a very strong drill target for us to follow up. Basically exactly what you would have wanted it to look like if you could have just drawn it out yourself. Exactly. I think going into this you wonder, you know, there's always the potential that these things are somehow offset and that you lose this, this strike of an anomaly. Yeah, when we went into this program, I think this is exactly what we could have hoped for. Um, and we're very excited about this now having about a kilometer in strike of untested, but um, similar signature to what we've seen in the discovery hole. Right. So it's a bit of a, been a bit of a lockstep process, sort of IP drilling, IP. 
hindered slightly because of the capital markets. It's been difficult to access money, and that's just a, a fact of life for the mining sector in general. Going forward, I'm sure drilling is what you would like to do next, and you'll just do your do what you can to make that happen. Yeah, we've been fortunate enough, I think, in, in being mindful of the company structure and the share structure and dilution. Um, we've tried to be mindful about targeting any sort of money raise or capital raise and financings for specific programs, programs that can do uh, fundamentally progressive programs and generate news. So right. we've been able to, you know, sort of mitigate uh, unnecessary dilution by raising money for specific purpose, going out, testing certain uh, targets or thesis, coming back with those results, and if the results bear out, we're finding that our investors are, are coming back to support positive results. And so we've had a number of uh, current shareholders who've come in on the last two or three rounds of financings that like the results that we've had to date and want to see us continue to move forward. So we've had good financial support, and it's allowed us to do that without compromising the structure of the company. And you can see that even in just how the financings have been announced to the market. You've been able to announce finance closes. You haven't been, you haven't had to go out there and say, we're looking for money. You've just been able to go out there and say, we found some money and this is how much. Yeah, we've, we've been fortunate. Again, it, it talks to sort of the, the types of people who are already in the stock. And, and I should point out that nearly 40% of our uh, issued capital is in the hands of founders and management and insiders. So we're also putting our money where our mouth is uh, as, as insiders of the company as well. But what we found is, yeah, people have sort of looked at the prior program's results, you know, seen that it warrants follow-up and have been willing to uh, come forward and say, look, we want to see you get financed to get through that next step. We're there to write the checks to help you get there. And so, yeah, we've been fortunate enough to be able to raise finances um, in, in advance of announcing it, knowing that that money's there and it's allowed us to sort of, again, sort of manage the market a little bit and, and still raise the money we need to. So 2015 is exciting. I mean, you have this great anomaly. You'll hopefully be able to get out there and test it and gold's looking good.